My name is Val. Welcome to a unique social experiment designed to push nine humans to their absolute physical, <laughs> mental, <laughs> and emotional breaking points. Get me out of here! Locked in isolation pods and cut off from all contact. Val, I want food. They are not competing against each other. Oi. But against themselves. Son of a god! In the end, I'm gonna die. Only one will remain. Ah! He or she will leave solitary with fifty thousand dollars. My role is to observe what makes humans strong ah! and what makes them weak. Ah! To push to prod and to discover who will quit next. This is Welcome to Solitary. Previously on Solitary, my guests were forced to monkey around until I locked them behind bars. Oh my god. Number six escaped first and won freedom for the second straight time. I will not be stopped! And solitary mini golf had a maximum impact. Its twists turned number nine green and drove her out of solitary forever. Hold that as long as I could. Now, pod two, pod three, and pod seven play through. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Having no idea their agony is wasted. For the next hole, you must complete 15 spins and sink your putt in three strokes. You have one minute, starting now. One. Two. Fifteen. Money. Ew. Holy cow. How the f did that happen? <sighs> oh. I am so relieved I made that shot. Because <laughs> I don't know about doing 55 and not puking. Why did I take my time? Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Not stupid. Smart, if you like penalty rounds. As you know, the more penalties you incur, the more spins you must do. Your next penalty is 30 spins in one minute. <laughs> Unbelievable. Believe it or not, your time starts now. One, two, three, 12, 13, three, 30. Feel dizzy, well. Recorded. Your next hole is 20 spins, one ball, three strokes. You have 30 seconds starting now. Just keep the helmet on, and we'll sit here. That is a good plan. <laughs> Your next penalty round, and round, starts now. I mean, it really is excruciating while you're doing it. The pain in your legs is unbelievable. 35. <laughs> 55. Where's the green button? I got it, I got it, I got it. For the 20th hole, you must sink two balls in six strokes total. Yes! Yeah! You, bitch! Ah! Missed it by that much. Five. Oh my pod. Your penalty round begins 
now. I don't think I could stand another penalty round. Spinning is just killing me right now. One, two, three, 18, oh, 28, ow, oh, 29. Time. Oh my god, my legs are killing me. It hurts. My head just hurts. Really bad. Enough to hit the red button? No, not yet. Number seven. You did not hit the green button before time expired. You have incurred a second penalty. I honestly, I don't think it's possible. My legs have like hit the wall. It's not working anymore, but I'm gonna try. You must now spin 80 times in two minutes, 30 seconds. 18, 19, 25, 26. Oh, come on, three, four, oh, 60. I'm not making it. 61. 66. Time is up, number seven. Oh. Because you did not complete your penalty, you are now required to complete 100 revolutions in two minutes, 30 seconds. I can't do that one. My body's just not working. My legs are giving out. And I just want to quit. That is what the red button is for. My body's quitting on me. So I'm not hitting it. The golf club's hitting it. No matter how you slice it, a quit is a quit is a quit, number seven. I could not have done any better. I couldn't, it's impossible. That's the truth. Sometimes the truth shall set you free from solitary. Hold please. Guests. Prepare for hold 21. You must spin 25 times and sink one ball in two strokes in one minute. Now. Hey. Your spin cycle is over, but the question remains, have you washed out of solitary? If someone can handle this type of pain, then good for them, but I can't. My head, I can't push my head any further. Did I make the final floor or no? The final answer is coming soon. Number two, are you ready for your penalty? Nothing is gonna stop me from doing this. Nothing. Then your penalty round begins now. Dizzy and tired, Val. Dizzy and tired. I feel dizzy and tired. Going a little loco. Going insane. Perhaps your brain is telling you to hit the red button. No, Val. It's not an option. It's not an option. Two guests await their fate, their heads spinning in anticipation. If you can hear my voice, your stay in solitary will continue. No way. What? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Really? I can't believe I'm still here. I can't believe I'm still here. Why am I still here? The golf course is now closed, but the treatment will continue with spins only. This next round is a par 90. 90 spins in 90 seconds. That's ridiculous. Either that or hit the red button. That button doesn't exist in this dojo, remember? Very well, then get ready to spin. 
Val, I'm prepared to do whatever you tell me. You are in charge. Thank you for noticing. And you will get a charge out of this. You are in the top four. What? No way! Yes way, number two. Top four? Yes. Woo! Pod 2 has a lot of energy, and he will need it. But I worry more about my guests who seem to have nothing left to give. Up next, the guests yeah. beat back their personal demons. Say bitch, huh? Before a hellish treatment that has everyone on pins and needles. I'm gonna die. No way! Okay, does torture chamber mean anything to you? When solitary continues. I started my experiment with nine eager humans. Now, only four remain. Tired, hungry, but not defeated. At least not yet. This next announcement should lift their spirits. Congratulations. You are the solitary final four point oh. Woo! Oh! 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 Gonna win! Solitary! Four, five, oh! You are a champion. You're gonna win these little battles, and you're gonna take the war. I am the winner of Solitary 4.0. It's a fact. I've been in the final four before. It doesn't mean nothing. Not until it's just me standing here. I am impressed with their fierce determination to win, but I wonder if they harbor any doubts and if those demons could lead to their downfall. What is this? <laughs> pow, pow, pow. Guests, as you punch this bag, I want you to pretend it is the one thing standing between you and victory. Please tell me what the bag represents and how you are going to defeat it. This bag symbolizes my competition. Number three, number six, number seven, what? Would you say bitch, huh? Bitch? What? Oh, I don't like having these negative thoughts about myself. Want to talk back to me? And it also symbolizes everybody I've talked to in the last two years that says they would have held on to those chains a little bit longer if they were me. I just need to push myself. I just feel like dying after. The number six? Bubble. Over the head, over the head. The number seven, joke him like this. Squeeze the neck. I don't really have a lot of aggression in me. I used to have a lot of anger and stuff, and I am long since over that. I think a woman should be strong, but needs to have feminine grace. You need to keep going. It's never freaking quit. Never quit. I have to admit, I have anger towards Pod 6. I don't think it's fair. Pod 6 has been here before. And on top of that, 6 is winning all of the tests. And that's pissing me off. You have going to prove to all those doubters that I've been the strongest man in solitary this whole time. Oh, number beast, making face like that. You did nothing wrong. It's OK. I love you for who you are. I accept you. They were surprisingly honest with me while revealing their inner selves. Now, let us see if they can be as honest with each other, especially when a reward is on the line. Guests, you now have a chance to earn a hot chicken dinner. The size of that meal is up to you. The person who reports the highest number of hits in the upcoming round will earn the largest portion. The second highest number reported will win the second largest, and so on. Are people going to be cheating and making up numbers, Val? Why do you doubt the honesty of your pod mates? So now people are going to be making numbers up, Val, and it's going to piss me off. Somebody makes up some outrageous freaking number. Anything is possible, number two. Start punching now. <laughs> I already have my number, Val. 
Oh, the thousand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen seconds remain. Time. Please report your number of hits. Three thousand six hundred and sixty-four. Three thousand eight hundred and forty-two, Val. Four thousand eight hundred and thirty-four. Wow, my score was fifty billion nine hundred and ninety-nine million nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand. 999 hits. I know everyone's gonna be pissed at me, but I'm hungry, what can I say? I am starving. Guests, the highest number reported was 50,999,999,999. even enough time to count that high, Val. Wow. What's the purpose in that? To see who's the better liar? Or to see who already knows the tricks of solitary, which is pod six, everybody knows that. You are convinced the liar is pod six. I am not. Cool, lie and manipulate to get what they want. So typical, so typical. Finally, Val, I am getting solitary. How solitary works. That's why I'm in the top four, baby. Top four. Please retrieve your meal. Its size will reflect the number of hits you reported. Oh, this is enough for me. The person who reported the highest number should have given them, like, the most meal bars. <laughs> That would have been fun. Val, can I get a bottle of water, please? What? What the hell is this? Val! You have got to be kidding me. This is not. You lied during my challenge, so I thought I would lie to you. Ah! 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 That's what I think of that freaking meal right there, Val. Disgusting! It is fascinating the lengths humans will go in order to win. But I wonder, in the end, will the price they pay for victory be worth it? Coming up. This is going to be intense. Val's new test is virtually impossible. Go to the right. To the door to my right. Some guests get the jump on it, but others are puzzled out of their minds when Solitary reboots. Only four guests continue on their solitary journey, each of them mapping out a strategy to make it to the final three. But to get there, they must first embark on a path unlike any they have ever taken. Two boxes, one big long rope. This reminds me of my Navy days. I like this. For this test, you must navigate your way through my virtual maze. The first person to reach the virtual green button will win real freedom from my next treatment. Very high tech. So let's go. Let's go on a nice uh, trip. Your trip will not be easy. Along the way, you will enter rooms that will challenge your body with my grump rope and your mind with my numbered cubes. I have also provided a compass and jelly beans you may use as you see fit. What, are we Hansel and Gretel? Or not. What my guests do not know is there is only one successful path to the final room, but there are eight dead ends, 10 rooms with grump ropes, and 11 rooms with codes. Prepare yourselves. This is gonna be intense. On your pods, get set, go. Left door, Val. I wanna go right, Val. Door on the left. I gave my guests a compass that is virtually useless in a virtual maze. But number seven has found a practical application. I'm trying to make a map. Val, straight forward. Val, I want to go to the door that's ahead. Go straight ahead. Val, I want to go. Go to the right. To the door to my right. This is a code room. Using the numbered cubes in your meal slot, you must solve a four-digit code in order to move on. 
One, two, three, four. Here's my number, Val. Four, three, two, one. One, two, four, three. Two, one, three, four. I want to go left, Val. You have entered a rope room. You must pass under and over the 40 pound growth rope three times. Two, three, one, four. One, four, two, three. Two, four, three, one. Three, two, one, four. All right, bow straight forward. One, grump. I'm convinced that this rope weighs six times more than I do. Okay, bow to the right, please. One, two, four, three. Two, one, four, three. One, three, two, four. Two, one, three, four. Two, four, one, three. Correct. Two, four, one, three. Correct. So I'm going to use these beans to remember my codes. Two, four. OK, now what? Please indicate your next move. Oh, that's it? Can't go nowhere. There's no doors, so I have to go backwards. All right, back up. Wait a second, I'm getting turned around. So I turned right. So now I have doors here and here. Here, and here. I want to go straight, Val. I want to go left, Val. Oh, I'm so frustrated, I don't know where I'm going. I want to go right, Val. I'm losing sense of direction in here. Two, one, three, four, and then I did one, two, three, four, so then let's change this. Two at the end. Four, one, three, two. Starting over again. This rope is heavy as hell. Six. To the left, Val. Two, four, three, one. Two, one, four, three. Two, three, four, one. Ah, oh, come on, okay. Start over. Start over and calm down. Four, one, three, no, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Number three is currently in the lead. If she stays on the right course, she could win her first test in solitary. Two, I wanna go right, Val. That was a step in the wrong direction. One, three, four, two. Correct. All right. I knew I should have started with one on that. I don't know why I didn't. Six. Make a left, Val. I want to go left, Val. All right, Val, go to the right, please. Um, let's go left. Wasn't I just here? Did I go back? Make a right. What am I doing wrong? Why am I doing this so many times? It's so hard to keep my head straight in between the grump rope and the jelly beans and the combinations and the doors, and it's really hard. Nine grumps. Oh, stupid grump rope. Jeez, the numbers are getting higher. Eight. And if you get a, a room with numbers, then you're just stuck there for a while. Oh! The blocks were definitely very frustrating. Six grumps. Six? I, I just did six, like, two ago. Did I, did I go back again and do the same thing? Three, four, one, two. One, three, four, two. One, three, two, four. Two, one, four, three. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, four, one. Two, one, three, four. Two, four, three, one. One, two, three, four. Correct. Oh, beat the door. Right. Can we go right, Val? Ten grumps. Oh, my God. One. Three. Four. Six. Right. Oh God! Oh! Straight ahead, hit that green button. Oh. Hey, I'm 
gonna go the last bell. Oh. Oh, sweet. One, two, three, four. Correct. Make a right bell. One, two, ah, six, ah, ten. Left bell. Did it, Val. I hope I finish first. Recorded. Ten. To the left, please. Wait. Oh my god. Your attention, please. This amazing test is now over. For the third time in a row, the top two numbers are. Three and six. Just this once, it would be nice to flip the tables on him. So he has to go through treatment. And I don't have to bust my butt again. <laughs> and the winner is number six. What? No way. No way. Final three. Final three for sure. I'll just be doing exactly what I've been doing this entire game. Going into treatment. I just won three tests in a row. Solitary first! Solitary first right there! That is true. You have just made solitary history. Everything is just coming together. It feels like this Shaolin monk that's been training his whole life and now he finally gets to, to put it to use. It's insane. You can do this, man. all you. No one's taking this from you. You're hungry. You destroy the competition. Until it's just you. Just you standing in a pod alone by yourself in solitary forever. Forever. When we return, no doubt. there's no sympathy for the devil. You are not welcome here. You are never to return. Before a very heavy metal treatment. <laughs> Next. To learn from my guests, I often remove them from their comfort zone, but there is also much I can discover by placing them in their comfort zone. I will allow you some time with a personal item you brought from home. My ninja stars. Oh, wow. I picked up this drum at a pawn shop the day before I came here. I don't know how to play guitar, but I want to learn. <laughs> this is my paranormal investigator kit. Oh, it's fun, even as an adult. In your face. It has mental, it has physical, solitary. <laughs> While numbers two, three, and six continue to raise their spirits, my ghost hunter is attempting to remove them. I will set the stage for her. Number seven. My program needs more data on the human concept of heaven and hell, ghosts and demons. Please elaborate. To do an exorcism is the ultimate extreme, not for the weak situation. An exorcism has never been performed in solitary before. I think it would be terrifying, but it's something that I would really, really like to do. What e evil are you hoping to cast out? My biggest issue is that I have a lot of mental warfare going on, trying to let the good side win. I usually seem to let the bad side win. And how does one remove that from their body? You call them out by name. Demon of doubt, demon of self-loathing, I command you, leave this body forever and ever, never to return. This body is occupied with the spirit of God, with the spirit of pride, with the spirit of success, and the spirit of self-love. Go back from where you came. You are not welcome here. You are never to return. 
you are gone. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Was your exorcism successful? I feel more powerful for doing that. I am glad to hear it. Oh, I do feel more powerful. I wonder if her feeling will last. The longer my guests stay in solitary, the more their identities slip away. Soon, I become part of their every move, every thought. Observe. Val. Valuable. Very clever. Can you think of other words that contain my name? I never park my own car. I just give my keys to my valet. Value. Evaluate. Validation. I-N-V-A-L-I-D. Invalid. Devalue. You gotta open up that valve if you want water pressure. Valentine. Valium. Like, like the medicine. Like the medicine, right? Valium. Ooh, I got another one. I don't know if I can handle this mental evaluation. It's pretty intense. Their mental acuity is sharper than I thought, but for their upcoming treatment, I need them in peak physical condition as well. This next activity should help. Get ready to rock your pods with Solitary's very first air band. On lead guitar, number seven. On bass, number two. Ugh. Playing drums is number six. And on guitar and keyboard, number three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in their debut performance, give it up for the Solitary 4.0 Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. happy to see my guests reinvigorated. Three of them will need every ounce of strength for what is coming next. No way, Val. What the f is it? I'm gonna die. My guests have just discovered what I have in store for their next treatment, and already they are on pins and needles. What are they? Like screws or something? This is crazy, and that's gonna hurt. I'm straight petrified right now. This is bad, dude. For this next treatment, all you have to do is sit on the chair and bear my heavy spiked crown. But I don't know what the chains are for. The first guest who buckles under the pressure and quits will say goodbye to solitary forever. You are not gonna defeat me. I'm not gonna be defeated. Please take a seat. Round one will last for five minutes. Crowns on. Now. This helmet is heavy. It's just weighing me down. It hurts. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Time. Look at that. See, it's starting to put holes on my arms. My head's being pressed down by a ton of weight, but I'm sitting on like nails. It just sucks. Dude is sick and twisted, seriously. If you thought that was bad, Get ready for round two. Oh, the pain's gonna get so bad, I can already tell. Please return to your chair. 
Take one chain and hook it to your crown. Each chain weighs four pounds and adds to the pressure on my guests' heads exponentially. You must wear it for 10 minutes, starting now. Oh, I can definitely feel the difference I mean, with the addition of the chain. Just a shooting pain from my shoulder blades down to the middle of my back. You know, I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Just look at me. I definitely feel the difference, Val. I can feel the weight change heavy on my head. I can like feel just shards of pain just shooting down my back. My subjects, your throne awaits. Take another chain and hook it to your crown. Another 10 minute round begins now. Ooh. My head feels like the top portion is slowly being sliced out. It's like a stinging and burning pressure. I am feeling the pain. Round four. Chain, chain, chain. 15 minutes. God, please help me get through this and please help me carry this burden. God, I just pray that you put carry it for me, please. Round five. Four chains for 15 minutes. Oh. Round six, five chains for 15 minutes. Ah, oh, this sh hurts. You're very, very, very sick. Round seven, six chains for 20 minutes. I don't think anyone can comprehend the kind of pain I'm in right now. Pain is just overwhelming. Oh, oh. Time. Remember, should the pain become too great, the red button is always an option. Pain is only temporary, Val. I'm gonna get through this. I promised myself I would try my hardest and give it my all until I just couldn't take it anymore. And I haven't reached that point yet, so I'm staying here. Three of my guests are coming to grips with their pain. And although number six won freedom, he is still enjoying a taste of my royal treatment. Any second. Is this what causes spontaneous combustion now? This is what will cause the next solitarian to quit. You know, a part of me feels like I'm missing out on the treatments. I'm kind of missing out on some good conditioning. I am not sure my other guests would agree. Round eight, seven chains, 20 minutes. Crowns on, bottoms down. Now. I'm in so much pain that it is so ridiculous. I'm just trying to hold on for a little bit longer. Uh. I literally thought I was gonna get up and, and get out. It appears my guests are breaking. I will see if I can help them hang on a little longer with a new form of motivation, themselves. Please look into my eye and tell me what you see. That's me. <laughs> That's me. No way. This is the speech you recorded when you first entered solitary. I thought it might ease some of your pain. So obviously, if you're still watching this, you are still here in the pod. You can't give up now. You can't. You're not allowed to. You can do anything, right? Just go, 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 go. You got it. Stay focused. Stay strong. Keep putting, you know, every foot forward. You're not going to go crazy. You're not going to get hurt. You're fine. Just Stick it out. You've been through all kinds of hell and back. The light at the end of the tunnel is very, very near. Kick ass, take names, and get her done. Do it. 
Get off your ass and do it. This is your game. Done. You can do this. Sit. Do it. You'll be proud of yourself. That was awesome, Val. Thank you. I mean, wow, what, what a great inspiration. I'm a totally different person. In a good way. I'm gonna do it because of that talk. So thank you. That did not sound very convincing, number three. I'm gonna do it! What you will do is round nine. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Oh. Eight chains, 30 minutes starting now. It feels worse than one of those machines that crushes cars, although it is doing a really good job of crushing my skull into a little circle. Eighth chain feels very, very heavy. The pain I feel right now is more than I can even bear. <sighs> you will see blood drip down my head before I hit that red button, Val. posts are in my head still. I just can't do it anymore. I reached my limit. I pushed beyond it, way beyond, and I'm done. You realize you may also be done with your stay in solitary. I hung in there for about double the time I thought I could. The question is, did you hang in long enough? The answer is no. You are the first to quit. What? <laughs> I went until I gave out. So I'm okay with going. Before solitary, to me, success was achieving something, and not only achieving something, something great. Now, to me, full-on forced effort, dedication, and perseverance is success regardless of the outcome. Because you can always pick yourself up and try again. So, I love you, Val. You've been very encouraging to me. Always number seven. I really, really appreciate that, and I want to thank you for that. Sadly, it is time to exercise solitary of your presence. Bye, Val. Rock on, number seven. The next uplink of solitary. It's pain, no gain. For guests who are too stubborn to quit oh. Val's head of nails. God, you're killing me, Val. Then the guests dive into a test that makes their hurting heads swim. And some shocking news rocks their world. What? Before an agonizing treatment that completely unbalances them all. Find out who loses it on the next solitary.